Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Cases of a rare disease called monkeypox, caused by a less severe cousin of the smallpox virus, are popping up around the globe, including in the United States. The monkeypox virus is endemic to several countries in Africa, which means most of the pictures you're about to see in this piece are from past outbreaks in those regions. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the virus was first identified in 1958 when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of research monkeys, hence the name, monkeypox. But this is a bit of a misnomer. The natural reservoir for monkeypox has not been identified, but is most likely rodents or similar creatures. Now, since 1970, human cases of monkeypox have been reported in 11 African countries, and the first outbreak outside the continent was in 2003 in the United States. Cases were reported across several states in the Midwest linked to infected pet prairie dogs, which had been housed with rats and door mice imported from Ghana. An outbreak in Nigeria that started in 2017 has been linked to over 500 suspected cases and more than 200 confirmed cases, and that continues today. While monkeypox generally spreads to people from infected wild animals, such as rodents and primates found in the rainforests of Central and West Africa, but human-to-human -human transmission can also occur. Back in 2008, I went to the Democratic Republic of Congo to visit where monkeypox is endemic. According to the CDC, infection can develop after close contact with an infected individual, such as an exposure to broken skin, mucous membranes, respiratory droplets, infected body fluids, or even contact with contaminated linen. However, monkeypox isn't thought to be airborne like COVID-19. Well, the CDC says seven to 14 days after infection, the first symptoms usually appear. They're usually flu-like, such as fever, chills, exhaustion, headache, and muscle weakness. The symptoms are then usually followed by swelling in the lymph nodes, which help the body fight infection and disease. Next comes a widespread rash on the face and body, which can also be felt inside the mouth and on the palm of the hands and soles of the feet. Patients also develop painful raised poxes. Those are pearly and fluid-filled, often surrounded by red circles. The lesions finally scab over and resolve over a period of two to three weeks. So far, there have been hundreds of confirmed or suspected cases of monkeypox where the virus isn't endemic. Most of them in countries like the United States, Canada, and Spain. The current outbreak is under investigation, but what we do know is that while anyone can get or spread monkeypox, the CDC says a notable fraction of cases in the current outbreak are happening among gay and bisexual men. Now, monkeypox isn't considered a sexually transmitted disease, but close and intimate contact is a significant factor for spread. The age of people in this current outbreak has mostly been people under the age of 50. Also notable, because older people likely had received the smallpox vaccine before the disease was eradicated, and that smallpox vaccine probably offered protection against monkeypox as well. The CDC says people infected with the virus need to isolate until all their rash and lesions have healed, new skin has formed, and they've consulted with public health authorities. There is no proven safe treatment for monkeypox, but the symptoms can be managed with existing medications. We aren't facing another COVID-type outbreak, but like the coronavirus, monkeypox is another zoonotic virus. That means it jumped from animals to humans and is now spreading between people. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.